Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 8 of Lapis Relays. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, she was gonna talk to that mistress. Mm -hmm. Um, guys, so we're not getting an opening today either. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's right there in that picture. It's okay. Please let this be the episode where we learn everything. You know, I know ish. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> my best girl. <laughs> Thank you, God. I'm just so happy. I need this game to come out now, and I don't think it's gonna come out until October, my birthday month. I just wanna play this game so bad now. Uh, <laughs> oh, Oh, that picture's so beautiful. See, I kind of want somebody to blow that picture up and, like, sell it. I would pay some money for that. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, so, you know. She was the Kaudu of um, <laughs> the group. And it's so funny because she's voiced by, um, what is her name in Pastel Palettes? Blondie, one of my other favorite girls from Pastel Palettes. Like my own, besides Tina, her. And she also plays Anastasia in um, 
Cinderella girl, so it's funny how she's come a long way from it. Chisato. There we go. I, I I don't know how in the world I just remember Chisato. Okay. No. <laughs> So Hey, Angelica. Spying, of course. What? Are you serious? <laughs> so then hold on, then how in the world can you be in two units at the same time? So I'm guessing you were tired of being everybody's like cute, adorable. Makes sense. Hmm. Okay, but what else am I tired of?
Yeah, I can see that, honestly. I honestly thought this whole episode would have been a rape focused episode, but you know what? I'm okay. I love the fact that we got that first half about my other best team. I need this game. Like, ooh. No, <laughs> it's Oh, poor baby. Oh. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of bucks. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Oh my god. But let's just hope and pray it goes well. Yeah, because y'all haven't gotten your lights yet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> really? You spent that long thinking of the name? Okay, well that makes sense. <laughs> of course. Now. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're not going to show it until the end of the episode, right? I mean, we're 18 minutes in and we're almost done. Or are they going to be wearing their outfits that we've seen in the PV? Oh, please, please. Oh my god, it's like the PV for the game all over again. <laughs> oh
finally, oh my god. Oh, you are you lady baby, I love you so much. He'll say. Okay, finally, everyone has officially performed. All these units have performed, but still, it's um, like I said, Supernova and Ivy Core are my girls, and I love them so much. I think at first when I saw the PV for the game and seeing lights first, I was kind of into them because they give me like typically always in every type of idol S group anime. I'm also gonna put Bandini in there as well you are kind of immediately interested into that first group. And then they slowly but surely show all the other groups. So, like, before they showed all the groups, I was like, okay, I kind of like lights. And then Supernova and Ivy Claire came in, and I was just like, mm, nope. And then Ray came in, and I was like, yep, mm -hmm, you're just going to get added to my group. But I love the fact that they had still a somewhat Ray-focused moment in this episode because... Who knows what would have happened if they didn't get this in this episode. I probably would have been a little upset because I'm like, come on. But now I just want more. <laughs> so when shall now like move on up in your rank? Is it from Elsa? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised because it seemed like she maybe was there. Yeah, I think you guys would be promoted. What? So then you telling me they can't, but uh, hold the F, no, mm -mm. time out, time out, time out. So you're telling me because of the result today, they're still going to get expelled, even though they got the tower to be yellow. Something about that ain't right to me. Hold up. Like, um, okay. I'm going to need it to be next Saturday now so we can get the, the lowdown on this because I, I'm a little confused. I think maybe everybody's probably confused about this last little bit of this episode. But you're telling me now these girls are expelled because they're all in regular clothes. And Tia looks like she's on her way home to go see her sister. I mean, okay, I got so many questions. But still, seeing my other girls, seeing Ray in this episode be a primary focus in this episode still for me was really good. Even hearing the seiyus, because out of the five, I only know three of the seiyus of who they are and what they've done um, for other work. And the two, I think, and it's Aunt, um, Angelica seiyu and... Um, the one who's very similar to Kayane and her sisters. Those two are the brand new seiyus that I don't know. And so I honestly cannot wait to like learn a little bit more about these characters because like I said, I know we know the game is coming out soon. It has to come out between the span of this show ending in the next few weeks all the way up until next year. I'm not saying that it could come out in October. I would like for it to come out in my birthday month. I mean, we already know that D4DJ is confirmed to come out. Like I think five days after my birthday. Um, so <laughs> I just, and I think that's supposed to be getting an anime too. I don't really remember. I have to go back and do my research on it, but it would be nice because from the way that they're doing it, um, typically you're going to have the game. I mean, typically sometimes you have the game come out and then the anime or you have the anime come out and then the game because like one show that I was really, truly excited for this summer, but it got um, pushed back because of COVID. It was uh, Assault the Lady. And 
that was supposed to come out, I think, I think the game was supposed to come out, like, almost right after. And so typically they'll have either the game come out first to promote the anime or the anime to come out first to promote the game and such. But still, with this little ish right here, I don't know, but my money is on, like, they just got expelled, and so now they're gonna have to do something just to be reestablished into the school and to be able to come back in it. Or the rest of the other groups are going to do something for them to not get them to like leave. I don't know. We ain't gonna know until next Saturday, which sucks because I wouldn't know what the heck is gonna happen next. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to this episode eight of Leftist Relights. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 9. Bye, guys!